الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله a question was posed from my brother may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and bless us and him with ilm al-nafi rizqan tayyib wa amal al-muntaqabbil and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to practice the knowledge that we learn ameen ya rabbil alameen he said I'm from the West and I recently learned how to read the Quran. I'm trying to memorize the first Jews. Uh, knowledge wise, what else should I do? I barely know anything. I'm 25 years old. I barely understand khutbahs on Friday uh, when the Imam speaks Arabic. So, the general gist of the question the brother asked what should I be doing to benefit myself as a new Muslim? or as a someone who's new to knowledge and what have you first and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve us in you you've been blessed to learn how to read the Quran many of us in our early stages of Islam did not learn how to read the Quran until a long time into my to our Islam so that is an excellent first start to learn what is going to help you in your prayer and help you in reciting the Quran and later to hopefully understand what you're reciting and that comes with learning the Arabic language so as a, an immediate start <coughs> I would say continue your reading of the Quran and, and memorizing and benefit from some of the books that are translated, that give you the translation of the Qur'an and contemplate those verses. The second thing I will say, and this should be done at the same time, is that focus on Aqidah, on Creed, on Tawheed, learning who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, learning more in depth about Tawheed al-Rububiyyah, the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah, the Tawheed uh, al-Ibadah or the Allah's right to be worshipped alone and Tawheed al-Asma'i wa Sifat learning about the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala learning those principles to know for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لَيْسِ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ سَمِيعُ الْبَصِيرِ that there is nothing like unto him and he is the all-hearing, all-seeing so learning verses like that, even memorizing them and understanding their meaning. <coughs> and that gives you a very important principle of Tawheed in that we don't make a resemblance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is not like His creation. And His creation is not like Him. However, He does possess sight and hearing. But His sight and hearing is not like ours, and our sight and hearing is not like his, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that his is full and complete and perfect. He's the all-seeing and all-hearing. Although we see and hear, but ours is limited. So knowing that we affirm the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as are mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we practice the Tawheed and actualize the Tawheed by devoting all of our worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So knowing and understanding Tawheed, going through books like uh, Asul al-Thalatha, the three fundamentals, which are all translated and you can find translated lectures. Listening to full lectures, this is going to help build you. This is what you should be doing. So keeping your Quran along with that Going through these Aqidah studies, the three fundamentals, the six fundamentals, or the six usul, sitta usul, or usul sitta, qaida uh, al-arba, the four principles. These books, these imp very important books that are books about Tawheed, Kitab al-Tawheed, you know, reading these types of books, but going through the actual study of these books, the recorded lectures, from some of the students of knowledge, then this is going to help benefit you and ground you. And that's very important, because as I say, 
about gaining your usul, so gaining your foundation. So this is very important. Reading as much as you can in Bukhari and Muslim as well. Uh, so seeking the knowledge in general and even more specifically when you have the opportunity to begin learning Arabic and do not stop. When you begin to uh, start learning the Arabic language, continue and try not to take breaks and continue on in your studies to benefit yourself because the Arabic language is going to open up a whole new world of knowledge that you cannot really attain in the English language. It's going to open up a wealth of knowledge that you can only get a glimpse at with the translated works that are out there even though there are many fantastic works out there and books of the Salaf always being translated Jazallah khairan to the students of knowledge and the translators however the key and the source is learning the Arabic language so you can go to those texts and benefit from the sources and benefit from the ulama and you can listen so what I would say also is listen a lot to uh, lectures, recorded lectures and recorded uh, durus, full books that are covered, even if they're short books, <coughs> and translated lectures of the ulama. I hope this is helpful, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.